What's up everybody, welcome back to the Unknown Coaches channel. Uh, I'm sitting here on the side of the road so I thought I would make a quick video for you guys to give you kind of a heads up about the plan for this month. Uh, this video is gonna be coming out June 2nd. There will be a video every other day in June. So 15 videos total. There'll actually be one tomorrow because I'm gonna do the videos on uh, odd number days. So the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 11th, etc., etc. Um, tons of new content. I just decided I wanted just to blast a bunch of content up. Um, the channel's been a little slack lately because I've been super busy. But in that time, I have been making content. I just haven't been able to be in a position to edit it and get it uploaded. So um, now that I'm in a little better position to be doing that, be 15 videos this month, like I said, every other day. Uh, so make sure you turn on all notifications or hit the subscribe button. Um, that's free, by the way. And, and if you hate it, you can unsubscribe at any time, also for free. Um, turn on all notifications so you get a heads up when these videos get posted because they are going to be dropping left and right this month. So um, this project is just a personal valve cover for me in this video. Um, it's got some kind of cool stuff in it that I know a lot of people liked when they saw photos of it. So I thought I'd throw it up. And then uh, the rest of the videos this month are going to be kind of random, but uh, all very powder coat related, specific. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, look forward to the next time, guys. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. So I skipped all the normal stuff in this. So I, you know, Cleaned this, sandblasted, uh, and I also primed this valve cover. Shot it with some RDO3 from Cardinal, which is just a pretty standard gloss red. Uh, as you can see, I didn't do the whole valve cover because the rest of the valve cover is going to be sprayed with Prismatic Universe. And I'm, of course, doing a gradient. Now, this gradient is really just kind of the base coat for what I'm actually doing. Um, this is not going to be the final color by any stretch. Um, so we throw Prismatic Universe on here. Uh, I already had a rough idea as far as the design goes um, for what I'm about to do with the graphics on this. Um, here you can see the Prismatic Universe cured, and you can see how the color shift kind of runs into the red, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And I got on the computer, and I designed this uh, honeycomb design, and I masked, or I should say I designed it to fit specifically in the top part of this valve cover. Um, a lot of measuring, a lot of trial and error, a lot of test cutting for some of the parts, but this actually follows all the contours of the valve cover specifically, and I, I wanted that for a couple different reasons. It actually makes this job a little bit easier when I don't have all the, like, the weird little corners and stuff for it to dip down into, um, bolt holes, all that stuff. And I actually thought that it gives it a little bit better overall effect. Um, it just looks like it's a little more manicured, a little more professional. And then we just jump straight back into the booth. This is uh, Tiger's Wet Black. Um, it's going over the entire thing. Now, this is probably going to confuse some of you, but hopefully, you know, if you guys have done graphics in the past, you kind of see where this is going. Uh, I have the red to prismatic gradient. Uh, the place that I put that graphic is the only place that that graphic is going to be visible, or the only place where that red and prismatic universe is going to be visible. Um, so I float out the Tiger Wet Black. Um, that's why you can see it's kind of glossy, but kind of not. Uh, just enough to the point where I could pull this off and would not leave any weird strings, or um, not to the point that this was got too hot and stayed on there permanently. And now you can kind of see how the design is coming together. Threw the valve cover back in the oven to cure the black out a little bit more. Um, it hadn't flowed out enough for me to be doing clear on it, which is the next step here. So once that cooled down, throw in Tiger's Bengal Clear over the top of this. This is absolutely the best clear on the market, in my opinion. Uh, I get asked this one a lot, what clears do I like? And this is the jam. And this is the end result that uh, red to prismatic universe gradient with a kind of overall gloss black finish. Uh, this valve cover is super prominent in my engine bay, so I wanted to make sure it was perfect. And I uh, hope you all enjoy the video.